Wasn't it Tamar who saved the tribe of Judah through cunning? Ain't she a woman? Oh, I'm sorry. Don't you remember Rahab who hit the spies and gave Israel its first victory in the promised land? And ain't she a woman? Oh, my apologies. But I seem to remember uh, somebody named Deborah, the prophetess who was leading all of Israel as judge over the nation. And then she accompanied the men into battle and gave them a great victory by the Lord. Come on, somebody. And ain't she a woman? And there was, of course, Ruth, who was a picture of the Gentile church who gave us Jesus Christ as our kinsman redeemer. There was Esther, who through her influence and favor saved the entire nation of Israel from genocide. And ain't she a woman? Did not Abigail bring peace to David's fighting men and to David? Did not Bathsheba bear Solomon, the king who would build the temple? And ain't she a woman? And it was the woman Mary, who bore the fruit of righteousness. Come on, somebody. As she carried the seed of God and gave us Emmanuel, God with us. Priscilla in the temple was teaching in the temple courts when Jesus was brought in as an infant and she recognized him as the Messiah before any man did. And she began to tell others that's the Messiah. And ain't she a woman? The women of history. Susan B. Anthony, Rosa Parks, Helen Keller, that God has used throughout history. There was a woman named Sojourner Truth. She was a slave woman, an African woman. And in 1851, she stood up and addressed a great crowd. And she said this, ain't I a woman? Come on. Look at me. Look at my arms. And she bared her arms for all to see. And she said, I have planted and I have plowed and I have gathered into barns and no man could head me. And ain't I a woman? I could eat as much and work as much as any man when I could get it and bear the lash as well. And ain't I a woman? I have borne 13 children, she said, and seen most of them sold off into slavery. And when I cried out with my mother's grief, none but Jesus heard me. And ain't I a woman? Women, don't let men put you down. Because I believe in a church of the living God that has been called to be the salt and the light of the earth. Come on. That God has left the church of the living God, his house, with the keys to the kingdom. And he has given her a voice and he has given the church dominion and authority over darkness. He has put underneath his feet in the church's feet his body, Satan. And ain't she a woman? The bride of Christ. Come on, somebody.